What? Is this live? All right, guys. So I like a lot, a lot of data. And to get the best weight of evidence, I need the, especially in this precious metal sector, silver, gold, I want to know about uh, 100 years of data. I want to know about um, anything that's related, Fed fund rates, inflation, etc. So trading view is pretty, pretty, pretty sweet. Look at that. They have the uh, I have a hundred years of silver, silver, gold data. I have a hundred years of let's say the Dow, DGI. Pain. Look at that. Bam. One hundred years of the Dow. And check it out. I know. I know. Wait, guys. What are you doing, Pat? We want to know what you're gonna do. Okay, check it out. Okay, so here's my DAO, logarithmic. And now I wanted to have 100 years of Fed fund rates. I want to know how the Fed fund rate played with, uh, if there's any correlation, any effect with my uh, silver price. Check it out, Fed, Fed fund. Here we go, Fed fund rate, new pain. But look at that, the Fed fund rate, it stops at 54. And I said, wow, look, there's so much. What happened here? What happened during the Great Depression? What happened? Silver for these prices moved. Did they always react the same way? Um, when there was high Fed fund rates, uh, my, uh, did the silver peak, et cetera? Just like easy, easy, uh, just preliminary type of work I love to do. So here is where it gets tricky. So there's, with Quan DL, we're able to get, um, or we can go out of trading view and we could get a whole bunch of data. And this is the FRED. So FRED slash uh, M13009, USM156, NNBR. That is, I Googled, I Googled, um, because the Fed fund rate before certain years, before like let's say 55, they called it the, uh, it was a New York Fed overnight rates, but, and they just like renamed it. It'd be really cool if that data series would be the same. So now you see, I have the bridge, I have uh, the recent Fed fund rates and then have the old one. And now I want to put them on the same chart. You could click and drag, put it uh, both in the same pane. You could do right click, move to existing, existing pane above. Look, oh, we're getting somewhere. Let me zoom that up. Now, see, they're not really attached. So right click, merge all in one scale, and look at the magic. Bam. You have over 100 years, 105 years of Fed fund rates. Now you could just change the color. You see the input here, quant DL. So if ever you could put down your notes, I like I have some notes here where I put my stuff. So if ever you you don't even put in the watch list or something, you just put in your notes, and then all you have to do is a copy paste of that in the. Uh, you could even add it here. Now I could even make it cool looking style. Let's make it black. Thin, make this one black. Ah, oh, yeah, there is a new tool I'm not practicing. So there you go, a hundred years of Fed fund rates, and then you could even like put silver chart on top. Then you could see how it reacted. Uh, put the Dow. It's like this is insane. So much, so much. Slide it above. The click and drag is pretty cool. So you see how how it works, and. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna deep dive anything. I just wanna show you this little hack and uh, hopefully you find this useful. I have another step above. I'm gonna do a little video later is how to get the real rates. So that when you have two, because I have this composite of two data series to make one large uh, chart. If you wanna do like a division, like let's say I want to see adjusted for inflation, um, I have a trick for that, and I'm going to do that in another video to keep this one short, which uh, I've overextended, baby. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed, and uh, any comments or questions there, don't hesitate. Ciao, guys.